Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of CreditRepairShop.com. I have a major, major, major announcement. I need you to like this video. I need you to hit that thumbs up, like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to it yet. In today's video, we're going to talk about, very briefly, this is, I promise you, this is going to be a short video. It's about time bar debt and statute of limitations debt. Now, one of my YouTube subscribers made me aware of something and I went back and revisited the actual statute according to the CFPB and the Fair Debt Collections Practice Act for time bar debt. Now, I want to make this adjustment to what I would consider time bar debt. We're gonna have to test this because it is, it is not uh, clear on the CFPB website, it is not clear on the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act. Let me read to you what it actually says. Time bar debt, statute of limitations mean the period prescribed by applicable law for bringing a legal action against the consumer to collect the debt. And it says here, time bar, a debt for which the applicable statute of limitations has expired. Now, listen to this part legal action threats of legal actions are prohibited we you know that we all know that but it says here a debt collector must not bring or threaten to bring a legal action against a consumer to collect time bar debt now here is the big news here is the world world premiere like one of my employees said the world premier is that i believe that the interpretation that I've even went under for all of these years is that the statute of limitation starts from the last payment. So if you did not, if you, let's just say today you had not made any payments on your debt and even though on, on a credit card debt, for example, and six months from now they're going to charge off. I interpret it now and I've looked at other uh, uh, legal uh, documents, other uh, attorney websites, uh, consulted with attorneys, uh, had them read it and reread it and tell me their opinion on it. The opinion is, is that the statute of limitations, the clock starts to tick from the date of your last payment. From the date of your last payment. So that means that from what if you've been watching me from my understanding the way that it was written and the way that i was interpreting it is that it started from the charge off date but the way that i read it now um it does say that this was uh an updated version here on the cfpb website that's who's really updating the fair debt collections practices like that they're the department that's really uh handling all of that it says right here that this is an update. It doesn't say this is a specific update, but it says that this is an up updated document, which the document is the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act, Statute 1006.26, Collection of Time Bar Debt. This says th this version is the current regulation, like it was updated. I'm looking for the previous regulation, not that it matters, because what matters is the way that we're going to all move forward the way that we're going to move forward with our clients the way that i think that you should move forward is that a debt the last the statute of limitations clock starts to tick from the last date of your payment that's it if you if if they charge it off six months from now that's just showing that it's charged off uh yes they can try to still collect on it all of that stuff none of that change the only change, the only change that, that I'm making that I'm uh, recommending, and this is not legal or accounting advice, uh, I'm not an attorney, so I'm not giving you legal or accounting advice, and um, if you need legal or accounting advice, please seek legal counsel in your area, but the way that I read it is that it's stating that the date of your last payment is when the clock starts to tick. That's going to move the needle on a lot of people who are right on the border for statute of limitations. As a matter of fact, anyone that has followed my videos or any of our clients, it actually moves the needle back six months 
to their last payment. Now, there are some debts that have been charged off a lot sooner. It depends on if it's a, uh automobile loan, some of those. And I even saw doing some research, came across in the state of California, if your car is repoed, the statute of limitations date on that is even shorter than it is for regular uh, uh, statute of limitations debt, which is, that was something that uh, I think is something that was added. I didn't uh, never see that before when I was doing my research. So if you have a debt, uh, let's see, auto loan statute a limitation. So it was uh, some some years have it, I mean, some states have it where it's longer or where it's in line with the regular statute of limitations. Some states have it uh, less times than the even the credit card debt statute of limitations, which I, I guess is just, just depending on what... Uh, uh, each specific state decides to do. So let me reiterate again, doing my research from a communication asking me to get clarification from a YouTube subscriber. So if you're watching this video, I would like to thank you, uh, you know, by video. Thank you. But uh, doing my research, statute of limitations for debt. It looks like statute of limitations for debt starts from the last payment. That is the way that I'm reading it, and that, I think that that's the way that we should move forward. That's the way that we're going to have all of our clients move forward. So if you need help with your credit, please visit us at thecreditrepairshop.com. Watch the video, What Makes Us Different, so you can see my eight-point validation process, my two-phase settlement process. If you need your credit reports and scores, go to the website. You order number three scores. Grab your TransUnion, Equifax, Experian, credit reports, and all three scores. If you have debt collectors coming after you, grab my statute of limitations letter debt validation letter and cease and desist collection activities letter they it has the instructions on the top i think it's going to make that statute of limitations letter a lot more valuable moving forward because if you are on the borderline on statute of limitations looking at the laws in your state um and they don't even make it clear so it this is if you it, it's one of those where it's a play on words it just says that if they have not collected on you for the time period, uh, I think that it was assumed that when the debt was, when they just stopped and gave up on it, because that's when they do the, the charge off, but it's actually from the last payment date. So thank you for your time. Please subscribe to the channel. Post your questions and comments. It's Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of the credit repair shop.com.